Welcome to the tribe. Today's video, most unbelievable recent discoveries. I'm always here for these, so let's just dive in. Let's unpack. Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, alien signals. In June of 2022, China's science ministry claimed that they picked up signals on one of their telescopes that may have come from an alien civilization. It was a pretty bold claim, one backed up by scientists at Beijing Normal University. They said that these signals were identified using the country's Sky Eye telescope and that these signals appeared to be very suspicious. The signals were so suspicious that researchers began looking into possible traces of intelligent civilizations somewhere else in the universe, or rather in the more immediate cosmos. Zhang Tanji, chief scientist of a Chinese extraterrestrial civilization search team, said the electromagnetic signals picked up by the telescope differ drastically from any previously captured signals. And while the researchers in China are desperately seeking an answer to the mysterious signals, they have also admitted that it could just be radio interference. There is no definitive way yet to tell if we've actually found a civilization just like ours living on a different planet thousands of light years away. But there's another mysterious thing that happened. Shortly after the report came out by the official Ministry of Science, the report was removed from China's state-backed website with no explanation. But it was already too late. It had been redistributed by news outlets all over the world. Number 9. The Truth of the Black Death I'm gonna have to look more into that number 10. I'm curious about that. Scientists have just made a rather bizarre discovery involving the Black Death. It's still considered to be the deadliest epidemic in human history but it may not have been killing people as indiscriminately as previously believed. Until 2022, researchers were convinced that everyone was at equal risk to be killed by the plague. And it made sense considering the plague wiped out roughly 75 million people between 1347 and 1351. But according to Sharon DeWitt, a biological anthropologist from the University of Albany, the Black Death killed people a lot more like how COVID-19 kills people. It specifically targeted humans that were at high risk. What that means is that people who were already weakened by some other affliction and who were too weak to fight off the infection would be the ones who died. That's the unfortunate of living way back because there's probably a lot of people with ailments that they just didn't have treatments for or, you know, we just hadn't made enough advancements yet. This information didn't come easily. Sharon and her colleagues had to study over 490 skeletons from the East Smithfield Black Death Cemetery in London. The scientists looked at the bones of these skeletons, searching for any indication of frailty. And what they found was that the people who were killed by the plague were already unhealthy. These people were vulnerable, had poor nutrition, compromised immune systems, and very little ability to fight the disease. It goes to show that people in the Middle Ages were generally unhealthy and may be deprived of nutrients. It was this general poor condition of their bodies that caused Europe to be nearly wiped off the map. Number 8. Giants on Europa There may just be gigantic sea monsters swimming in the chilly waters on Jupiter's ice moon Europa. We haven't technically discovered any monsters yet. But scientists are confident there could be abysmal beasts lurking on Jupiter's moon. And here's why. Even in the darkest and most inhospitable regions of Earth, where there is no light, barely any food, and the temperature is only just above freezing, life finds a way to thrive. There are nightmare squids and gigantic isopods, and even killer jellyfish living in the harshest places of the ocean. And now, Here's where Europa comes in. According to Tim Shank, a biologist with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts, life on Europa could resemble life in the deepest places on Earth because the environments are quite similar. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It's a gas giant and it has quite a few moons. Europa is perhaps the most interesting because scientists with NASA believe that underneath its frozen surface is liquid water. NASA has even seen Europa spit liquid into space, suggesting it actually squirts some of its own water out into the void. As we already know, where there is water, there is almost always life. Given the sheer size of the oceans on Europa, we could be dealing with an entire world of water monsters 
sea serpents, and alien creatures. Do you think it's possible giant sea monsters are hiding on Jupiter's moon? Let me know what you think in the comments below, uh, and be I mean, sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd be cool with that. Number 7. Exotic Black Hole In a galaxy adjacent to our own, astronomers have discovered something absolutely wild. They have called it a cosmic needle in a haystack. A discovery so astounding, it's a miracle it was made at all. The discovery is that of a mysterious dormant exotic black hole that was born under curious circumstances. Most black holes are created when a dying star explodes, a supernova, but this one wasn't. It's also not emitting powerful radiation, meaning it isn't swallowing up material like a black hole typically should. It doesn't have a strong gravitational pull. So then, how in the world is this even a black hole? It still has a mass nine times greater than the Sun. It's hanging out in the Tarantula Nebula, about 160,000 light-years from Earth. It also appears to be orbiting with an extremely luminous hot blue star that has a mass of over 25 times the Sun, making it larger than the black hole. These two objects make up a binary system, and it's all a little bizarre. The reason it was so difficult to identify this black hole is because it doesn't interact with its surroundings. Normally, astronomers can see a black hole because it sucks the light out of everything near it, but that's not the case with this one. This is the first time astronomers have actually identified something like this, and it took them six years to find. It was most likely created by the collapse of a star at the end of its life cycle without an explosion. It's a dark hole in the universe that doesn't gobble up everything near it. It's just a swirling pocket of nothing without the deadly gravitational forces like most black holes. Number 6. Okay, if anybody's heard of that, I've never heard of that. I need to look more into that. Anytime I say I need to look more into something, if you watch this and you happen to know that there's more information or you've seen another video, feel free to always request it down below because I will probably check it out. I, I mean, I'm just like, if it's not pulling things in, there's not the gravity, all that, right? So then what happens if you just fly through it? Does it, you just peer out of the other side of it? Or, because they still say it's a black hole, it's just not gravitationally pulling things in, but a black hole, if, if something goes into it, it don't come out the other side, right? Okay, that's an interesting one. The Artificial Star Not only is China on the lookout for alien civilizations, but they are also busy creating an unlimited energy source right here on Earth. China has created an artificial sun, and in 2022, it broke the record for the longest sustained nuclear fusion ever. According to Smithsonian Magazine, China's artificial sun superheated plasma to reach a temperature of 126 million degrees Fahrenheit. The plasma then maintained that temperature for 17 minutes straight. Let's break down how hot that is for a second. 126 million degrees Fahrenheit is roughly five times hotter than the sun. Not the surface of the sun, which radiates 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the core of the sun, which burns at only 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That means that here on our planet, in China, there is an artificial star that can create more heat and energy than the actual sun, the very thing responsible for all life on Earth. The machine is called Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak. It's been in operation since 2006 and could very well solve the planet's energy crisis. Nuclear fusion could be the cleanest energy source since it replicates the physics of the sun by merging atomic nuclei to create large amounts of energy into electricity. It's a process which requires no fuel at all, which leaves behind no nuclear waste and doesn't require a big, ugly nuclear power plant. China is at the forefront of this technology, creating their own stars contained in machines of metal. One day, these machines could be responsible for limitless clean energy. Number 5. The Balancing Rock NASA's Perseverance roves landed on the surface of Mars on February 18, 2021. Since then, the robot has been busy exploring an area known as the Jezero Crater. This crater was made when something smashed into the surface of the planet over 3.5 billion years ago. According to NASA scientists, shortly after the crater was made, it may have been filled with water or a lake teeming with microbial life. That's a pretty big deal considering all life on Earth started the exact same way. 
microbial specimens floating around in a great big petri dish. Thanks to the rover, scientists have already found evidence of ancient rivers flowing into the crater. This suggests that billions of years ago, Mars was a very different place. It was blue and maybe even green, although that hasn't been proven yet. And this leads us to the balancing rock. The Perseverance sent a picture back to NASA of a rock balanced almost perfectly on top of a boulder. The rock appears to be about the size of a bowling ball. The mystery is that nobody knows how the rock got into such a precarious position. It looks as though someone had balanced it there on purpose. Perhaps an alien living somewhere on the Martian surface. Of course, geologists have been quick to denounce the discovery as nothing but a freak phenomenon. Weathering and erosion could have caused the rock to morph into a circular shape to make it look as though it's balancing. Even if that's true, it's still another awesome discovery from the red planet. Number. That is a fact. Um, do you? So I used to buy into this, and I don't know if I still do, but that maybe there was life on Mars a long time ago. It's something I would love to believe. I'd love to believe all these things. Um, and, you know, when the asteroid hit billions of years ago, maybe if something had hit there, it threw you know, and we kind of landed on Earth from that, and that's where life started. You know, that there's so many different theories, and I love to dive into all of them. I almost feel like there's not enough time to do all the videos. Number four, the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a big splash in the scientific community, and people are getting excited about space again. Just one week after NASA released the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope, Beautiful. it made its first major discovery. Astronomers say that the telescope has potentially allowed them to view the most distant galaxy anyone has ever seen. We have now taken a picture of the oldest galaxy ever found, and it dates back 13.5 billion years. What this means is that the galaxy formed 300 million years following the birth of the universe, or the Big Bang. It's one of the first galaxies to ever exist, and we took a picture of it. So we took a picture of it Okay. All right. No, I got confused for a second because I was thinking that we took a picture of it shortly after it formed, and they said that was only 300 million years after the Big Bang. So I'm like, well, if we look, keep getting better at this, we're going to look all the way. But I, I would assume we looked at it way further into its lifespan. That would make more sense. Now, here is some interesting information. The age of a particular galaxy is determined by something called redshift. As the universe expands outward in all directions, the wavelength of light becomes stretched deeper into the red spectrum. The more red the image is, the farther the galaxy is from where we are. And that's how this new galaxy's age was determined. Number 3. The Death of the Paddlefish The Chinese paddlefish has officially been declared extinct. In one of the bleakest discoveries of the year, the International Union for Conservation of Nature confirmed in July of 2022 that the Chinese paddlefish is gone. It was last seen in the wild in 2003 and is now, beyond any doubt, completely gone from our planet. And that's not all the IUCN discovered. They completed a comprehensive investigation on the state of sturgeon and paddlefish worldwide, and it's not good. 26 of the remaining species of both kinds of fish are under threat of extinction, with two-thirds critically endangered. This was a pretty big fish, too. The Chinese paddlefish was native to the Yangtze River. It grew to be over 23 feet long, and it was a truly amazing creature. In fact, scientists say it had been around since the Lower Jurassic period, meaning it had lived with dinosaurs 200 million years ago. Live with dinosaurs? Couldn't make it through the humans. We're just that, we're that bad. I, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna assume that we had something to do with this, but you know, maybe it was just a natural extinction as well. But now, thanks to overfishing, okay the construction yep. of a dam, we know. and a steady decline in China's wild places since the 1980s, the Chinese paddlefish is no longer. The fish had survived the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, <laughs> only to be killed off by humanity. That's so Number two, crazy. Exposed Glacier Rocks In 2022, the Canadian city of Victoria, the capital of British Columbia, was experiencing some very low tides. The receding water was exposing all kinds of cool stuff along the shore like a giant slab of granite at a rocky beach near the Chinese cemetery in Oak Bay. But according to University of Victoria professor Edwin Nissen, this was no ordinary piece of granite. It was a chunk of rock that had traveled hundreds of miles from northern Vancouver on a glacier to reach the beach in Victoria, and it did it between 10,000 to 20,000 years ago. 
The rock began its travels during the Pleistocene era, which was during the Ice Age. Near the end of that time, there were enormous glaciers covering everywhere from the coastal mountains of British Columbia to Vancouver Island and out into the Pacific Ocean. It was a gigantic ice sheet, and it was rapidly melting. Over the course of roughly 10,000 years, the consistent melting of the glacier ripped rocks up from the surface and sent them sliding along its bulk like kids going down a water slide. As the glaciers melted, huge chunks of rock ended up hundreds of miles away from where they had started. And that brings us back to the giant hunk of granite in Oak Bay. It's an igneous rock that made it all the way from Vancouver to the beach of Victoria, which is a pretty impressive trip for an inanimate object. Number 1. The Domestication of Olives Scientists in Israel have discovered where olives were first domesticated. Researchers from the University of Tel Aviv recently revealed that 7,000 years ago, inhabitants of the Jordan Valley domesticated olives for the first time. That might not sound that interesting, but olives have been a staple in world cuisine since biblical times and have been eaten around the world for thousands of years. Yet nobody was really sure where the first olive tree grew. Not until now. It's an exciting discovery comparable to finding where the first apple was grown. According to Dr. Daphne Langut, the team's study leader, they discovered the first domesticated olive trees by looking at charcoal remains. The thing is that even when trees are burned down to nothing but charcoal, modern scientists can still identify them based on anatomic structure. And since olive trees grow wild in Israel, but not wild in the Jordan Valley, somebody must have brought them here. 7,000 years ago, somebody in Israel realized that they could take a tree from one place, bring it to a new place, and grow whatever kind of plants they wanted. This was an incredible revelation, considering people weren't really even building cities back then. The olive tree would have been planted by primitive humans outside a prehistoric village. They were basically Stone Age gardeners and the world's first botanists, domesticating trees before they had even invented the wheel. Interesting. I like this channel. This is a fun channel. They do a lot of really cool things. I like their countdown system, all of that. Comment below what you guys think about it. If you're new here and you enjoy this content, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe. Always videos dropping at least three, I want to say like three every single day. I've been pretty consistent. I don't think we're going to change that. So uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you next video, homie.